Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to get started here with our presentation today from the Fuel Filtration Product Group about our mobile fuel filtration and highlighting, as you can see on the screen, the new HDP 240. With that, we'll get started. My name is Aaron Keck. I'm the Product Manager for the Fuel Filtration Products here at Schroeder Industries. And today we're going to present a little bit about the mobile fuel filtration product we have. To start, I think we all understand mobile fuel filtration to be the fuel filtration that's used on a lot of common mobile diesel-powered equipment today. So that would incorporate solutions like construction, agriculture, industrial, but we don't want to forget about solutions that we uh, often don't consider when we're talking about mobile fuel filtration, much like marine applications or stationary power gen applications. So those are a couple good examples, along with ag, along with construction and industrial applications, where we can look for fuel filtration products. When we talk about sizing, our HDP product line, so the heavy-duty pre-care filters, those are the fuel water separators that perform a primary fuel filter function, really range in uh, horsepower rating from about 50 all the way up to 2,000 plus. So when it comes to um, uh, the low range of our sizing, previously we had the HDP340 to support up to about a 350 horsepower engine platform. When we got to the larger 600 horsepower platforms, we had the HDP600. And as we scaled up, we had double and triple housings to cover some of the largest applications. But we noticed that within our application or our product portfolio, we were lacking on the low end of our flow rates on the smaller ends of the diesel engine scale. So for us, we now have a solution called the HDP240 that's sized appropriately for those smaller diesel powered applications. So a quick review of the fuel system itself. When we're looking at a diesel fuel water separator, a pre-filter, we're looking at that filter assembly that's right there in the middle. That is between the fuel tank and the engine lift pump itself. We're not talking about the main filter, the lift pump, the high pressure common rail system. That's all specified by the engine OEMs. What we are talking about is something that we can have an effect on that will not affect the engine OEM's warranty. That's between the fuel tank typically mounted away from the engine on the frame rail or somewhere within the actual uh, piece of mobile equipment package. So the technology, what sets us apart from current solutions out there in the industry? Well, for one, it comes down to, first, the particulate removal. Our particulate removal media uses full synthetic filter media. This is a really effective media that's resistant to the waters that can be found in today's ultra-low sulfur and biodiesel blends. Also, we pleat these with a gradual graduated mesh pack structure. So what you can see in the lower left is an example of what a complete layering of a total pleat pack may look like. Now, we build it with this structure to extend and ensure maximum service life and also to achieve a high level of particulate removal efficiency. That third point really highlights the fact that with this layering, so we start with a very coarse filtration moving to a medium density to a very tight filtration layer, we can create a level of depth filtration that really provides some great benefits in not only performance with service life and efficiency, but really we dramatically improve that dirt holding capacity in comparison to similar or previously used cellulose medias out there in the industry. Along with particulate removal, we need to consider water removal as well. So fuel water separators do not perform one or the other, but they perform both functions within the same filter. So they really have to be built considering both types of contaminant removal. With the water removal, we do it typically in two stages. The first stage, really highlighting particulate removal first, that's protecting the downstream coalescing and separation layers to ensure that that efficiency remains high through the life of the filter. The coalescing media now takes those small, tiny, emulsified water droplets and allows them to collide and form large droplets, sinking through gravity to the bottom of that fuel water separator element. 
Now the second stage is a separating layer. It's a, a hydrophobic mesh placed around a center tube. That tube and that hydrophobic mesh ensures that large water droplets cannot continue down to the clean side of the filter. So that ensures that we're getting high water removal efficiency through all types of water ingression. So in the lab, we test to ISO test standards. We also have the capabilities of testing to SAE standardized tests to show a level of efficiency, adding water upstream, pulling it out, and seeing how clean that fuel is downstream. But we don't stop there. And we're interested in really what, how this filter performs in real world applications. Now we know in the real world, this filter is not only just removing water, but it's also trying to remove water while being loaded with contaminant. So we have a, because of the way we build our filter media in that element, we ensure that we get a high efficiency water separation over the life of the filter, even with highly contaminated diesel fuel. And that goes back to that two-stage approach and why we remove the particulate first and we can protect the integrity of that coalescing and separation layer so we can ensure high efficiency through the life of the filter element. Now, we also have to consider that these filter elements are not just sitting in a calm, still lab environment. These are being used on mobile equipment, which sees vibration, which sees pulsation within that system. Now, this actually functions well on our separation layer because it's like shaking an umbrella that is covered in rain. All of those water droplets are shed down to the bottom of that water collection sump space, and that's to ensure that the water drops to the bottom, opens up the surface area of that separation layer, and rejuvenates that portion of the filter. So we get continual high water removal efficiencies. So on to the new product, the HDP KF1 240. BC1, that continues on and on like much of our HDP model codes. The important thing to take away is this is still an HDP product. It still uses that KF1 diesel micron filter media. The 240 states that it is for a 240 liters per hour flow rate, so smaller than even our smallest 340 we currently offer. And the BC1, it is a manual water drain version. Now everything else after that would specify micron rating, all the configurations you see, and we'll walk quickly through those. Keep in mind this is for a flow rate of up to roughly 63 gallons per hour or 240 liters per hour. Now this is a suction side filter. This is not built for pressure side applications in particular. We're still applying this where we would normally fit suction side HDP filters. So to start, a basic configuration incorporates a clear see-through bowl and a manual water drain screw at the bottom. There are two simple mounting points, two simple inlet-outlet ports, and an air bleed. That is a basic configuration, easy to integrate. But we can also consider adding similar features like a fuel preheater that provides warmed fuel through the inlet of the filter to improve cold weather performance. So on days where temperatures drop, we want to ensure that that engine will have an easier time starting on cold weather startups. We also have to consider the fact that that heater will help ensure a long element life when the fuel is much thicker in those colder temperatures. The same porting, the same clear bowl, the same manual water drain. We can also incorporate a hand priming pump. Now in this case, you can see that hand priming pump, the inlet and the outlet ports are in a, a slightly different configuration, but that hand priming pump is most common on these top ported filter elements because as you change the element, you now have a bowl full of air that now needs to be bled before the engine can start without dying during operation, especially after an element change. This hand priming pump is a great feature, a simple add-on that is modular in its shape. So you can see in the next slide, we can now combine functions. So the fuel preheater, we've got the hand priming pump all still incorporated onto that original basic filter configuration. Now we can take that a step farther. If a clear filter bowl is not you know, within line with what you're looking for, there is a black plastic bowl also offered. Now because it's black plastic, we can no longer see the water level within that filter. So, so what we do is incorporate a water and fuel sensor at the bottom and a drain. So that allows us to see easily within that black bowl where the water level is using that water and fuel sensor probe.
Now you may have noticed at the top you can see a difference in configuration with that hand priming pump. The same modular hand priming pump is now oriented rather than left to right but front to back. And we also rotated the heater port to allow for space to configure the porting either left to right, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. So it gives us a lot of flexibility in how we plumb the inlet and outlet ports on these filters. A quick show of the, the dimensions, the overall dimensions with most of the configurations shown. Um, but this would be a maximum overall design envelope that we would look at seeing for this HDP240 product. Depending upon the configuration chosen, we'll talk about next here the timeline. So where we stand on releasing this product. This product is scheduled for a second quarter 2019 release. We'll have everything up to date, including our current price list, our catalog pages, we'll have dimensional drawings, 3D models, everything up and ready for any opportunities you may have coming down the pipeline. Now, don't let that stop you. We are actively working on customer projects as we speak, quoting the HTP240. So if you have an opportunity, you know you've got an application that requires a smaller filter than our HTP340. This is a really cost competitive, easy to implement solution. We can walk you through that process on a case by case basis. So if questions should come up after we close out this, uh, this meeting today, please feel free to send those over. Uh, check out our website. You'll find any of our contact information located there on the Schroeder Industries webpage. Feel free to reach out to us via phone, email, IM. We're always available to help regarding questions on the HDP, our mobile fuel filtration, and any of our fuel filtration products. So with that, I thank you for your time. Have a great evening and a wonderful weekend. Thank you.